It was another bright and sunny day on the Titanic Plains. The Wisps were out and about, and the Lemurians were as mischievous as ever. Two survivors crash land onto a strange new world, and their journey for epic loot begins. And they do what any other survivors would do, raise hell and murder everything that gets in their way. And things are going pretty well. In their first five minutes, they killed over 50 inhabitants of the planet, decimating the ecosystem. Things would surely decay into rubble now, much like the other ruins in the distance. Perhaps they were not the first survivors to walk these plains. Not even 10 minutes had passed before they entered the next area. And it wasn't long until our survivors found the origin of tar and its oceans of sand. And they set off to do what they do best, murder and loot and survive. But as luck would have it, they stumbled upon a hidden treasure. Beneath the sands of the great desert, they found a shrine that was not like the others. No, this was a shrine of gold. Naturally, of course, their greed got the best of them, and they entered the golden portal. They were carried away to a dangerous and exotic place, and it was here that they met a relian knight, the Golem of Gold, and he needed to die. The survivors fought long and they fought well. They used cover and coordination. They were patient and they were cautious and they did everything by the book. The monster was nearly dead and they were feeling pretty good. But then tragedy struck. Overpowered by the flames of the elite, our first survivor is now nothing but ashes. His ghostly influence is all that remains. Oh well, thought the remaining survivor. More loot for me. Their greed was unimaginable, and so the battle waged on. The remaining survivor is so close to winning, so close to reviving his friend. And then another tragedy struck. Massive laser damage out of nowhere, chipping away at his health like an axe to a tree, before finally succumbing to the beam. His ghost joins the first survivors in that endless purgatory. To this day, those ghosts are still out there, forever haunting the realm of their unfinished business. Perhaps there is no one brave enough or stupid enough to avenge them. Perhaps they are hopeless and lost to the sands of time. Or perhaps not. Luckily for those two lonely ghosts, I know just the group for the job. And that group is my group. Five of the galaxy's most fearsome survivors. A ruthless bunch who only care for one thing, loot. Any sense of justice or humanity has long been lost on the planet. The only thing that matters now is profit. The fact that we might free the ghosts was irrelevant. Just a happy coincidence. And so we fought. We fought with arrows and with swords, with fire and with bullets, with nails and with turrets. We bought the torches, and then we torched it. It was a worthy adversary, but not worthy enough. The monster of gold was no match for a team like this. Once the dust had settled, we knew it was over. The monster had been slain, and our efforts were not in vain. The two ghosts from before can now rest in peace. Their business had finally been finished. And we got what we came before, with nothing more for us to take. And so we left, with gold now filling our empty hearts.